back. You heard that right, folks. He's coming back. Emmett Matthews Jr. is returning to play his final year of college basketball for the West Virginia Mountaineers after spending one season playing for the Washington Huskies. What is up, college sports fans, fellow members of Mountaineer Nation? This is Coos, and welcome to another edition of Coos's Corner. Come in, sit back, relax, and let me pour you out a shot of top-shelf college sports content. That's all we do here is top-shelf content. If you like that kind of content, please hit that red subscribe button if you haven't yet. Please give me the thumbs up if you like this video. Share this, please, with your college sports-loving friends. Let's get on with the show. I'm happy to announce Emmett Matthews is back, folks. Now listen, when he announced he was entering the transfer portal a few days ago from Washington, a lot of fans got on social media and said, hey, let's hope, let's hope he comes back to Morgantown. What are the chances? There's always a few haters out there. And those haters had to get online and say, he wasn't that good, we don't need him, blah, blah, blah. I get it. He didn't put up great numbers here, and he's a very talented guy. If you want to say he underperformed here and didn't live up to expectations, that's fair. But to say the guy sucks or isn't good is just totally off base and inaccurate. Emmett Matthews showed flashes when he was here of being a great basketball player. And last year at Washington, he put up really good numbers. And I think he can come into Morgantown and put up similar or even better numbers in his final season of college hoops. Let's look at his numbers real quick. When he played at West Virginia, he was here for three years. He averaged 6.4 points per game. 3.5 rebounds per game, shot 40% from the floor, and 28% from three-point range. Those numbers don't blow you away. But but he also but he also showed great, like I said, great, great signs of just being really close to becoming an elite player. And I just he never broke through for whatever reason. We last year he decides to transfer, goes back to his home state of Washington to play for the Washington Huskies. Last season he averaged 11.7 points a game. 4.7 rebounds per game, shot 34% from three, and 43% overall. So all of his numbers, especially on the offensive end, improved. I think Emmett's going to bring – he's going to bring in a guy that can score the basketball, which is something we're, we're losing. Obviously, we're losing Taz Sherman. We're losing Sean McNeil. I think Emmett can provide a score for us. He's somebody that's really good at taking the ball to the rim. We need that. He can, and he can also step out and shoot a three when needed. He provides us some length on the defensive end. He's six foot seven, plays the three, can play the four. I think he's more suited to play the three based on his body type and his skill set, but he can play the four if Hugs decides to go with a small lineup, and heck, he's done it before. So he will know what to expect if Hugs asks him to do that again. Not only are we getting a talented player, we're getting a player who has experience playing for Bob Huggins and knows what to expect here. We only have one player returning. Until now, we only had one player returning to the team who had significant minutes, and that was Kedrian Johnson. And heck, Emmett has played more at West Virginia than Kedrian Johnson. Kedrian Johnson is a, a JUCO transfer going into his third year in Morgantown. Emmett played, has already played three years in Morgantown, his freshman, sophomore, and junior seasons. But he, he's being allowed to transfer again because he's a grad transfer now. He graduated last season from Washington. Another, another reason I think this is good and by the way, I recommend you go check out an article on West Virginia Sports Now by Ethan Bach, who talks about this topic. I'm going to post a link in the description box, but he talks about leadership. We're going to have a really young team this year, a lot of young uh, redshirt freshmen and sophomores coming back. And we've also got some older guys coming in who have never played in Morgantown or don't know what to expect, really, in playing for Huggins. Emmett can, can l help lead those guys. He can help show them what, what to expect. He can be a leader not only on the court, but even off the court. And that's something that Ethan mentions in his article is leadership. And we need that on this team. And last but not least, I think it's good for the program because I think it shows, A, that Bob Huggins is not bad to play for because if he was, I don't think Emmett would be coming back. And B, I don't think our program is a dumpster fire because there again, why would Emmett come back to a situation he didn't feel comfortable in? So apparently the West Virginia basketball program is not all that bad, folks. I don't think things are falling apart. They did have a bad season last year, but the sky's not falling in my opinion. So I'm really excited about this. I think it's a great sign. I think it's great news for the Mountaineer program. Let me know in the comment section, do you think this is a great move and do you think that it was a good idea for Hugs to bring Emmett Matthews back 
into the fold, or do you think it wasn't a good idea? I will. That's a fair opinion, and I, I will respect that. Let me know what you think. Your opinion is just as important as my opinion. Also, don't forget, there's links in the description box where you can buy your favorite sports apparel from Fanatics. You can buy your favorite apparel from Amazon. Go to earsgear.com, buy your favorite Mountaineer gear. Use promo code COOZ in all caps, C-O-U-Z. Get 20% off your purchase with that link in the description box. You can get a shirt like the one on my screen right now and many others. And, and finally, if you want to support me for free, hit the red subscribe button if you haven't. Give me the thumbs up, comment, and share. With that, I'm signing off. And until next time, Q Country Roads.